Hello people, it's Batman the Dark Knight and finally I'm back with a review I don't know why but I've been lacking motivation to do reviews now for the last few months so anytime I've sort of got anything in even though it hasn't been that much I haven't really reviewed them, I said I would but then when I got around to reviewing them I really never bothered so I needed something to motivate me, something big and today I've just received that and if you want a hint as to what that is you're sort of looking at it now, or if that's not good enough hint, look at the title. If you haven't noticed the title, there's another hint. Even though it's upside down, there's another hint of what I'm going to be opening. But there's what it is anyway. Look at the size of this. Came today from the seller I bought it from and it had no customs charge which is always a positive so I'm gonna get this out of wrapping and show you the box and there's my phone ringing so I'm gonna have to make a cut so stick around alright so I'm after getting it out of the packaging layer upon layer of bubble wrap so I'm very grateful for how well this was protected getting over from Hong Kong to me and like this bag I didn't even know I was actually gonna get this bag so this is a plus already Sorry about the shaking there, my hand's a little off. I don't know, I'm suffering from the shakes the last few days in my right hand. This is just, oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. Maybe even that's what's adding to the shakes. Um, there's plenty of reviews of this on YouTube, so I don't want to be sticking to showing you all this too long because you've probably seen it all before. So I'm just going to get the figure out and get on to showing you everything that comes with it and my thoughts now. Alright, so just really quickly for people who might have never seen a review on this figure, here's what the box looks like. You get this lovely raised picture of a uh, Batman in his car looking directly at you. Sort of another cardboard cut out there if you can see that. You get this real nice one quarter badge right here. And as you can see up there, it's the special edition. The stickers held on really nicely there. I've seen Clipper King doing a review and this was coming off. Seems to be okay. So I see the Dark Knight Rises logo there and Batman there underneath. That's really good. Just a big box. Focus, 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 focus. And on the back it's just all the credits to all the artists who did an amazing job in this figure. So on to the figure. Okay, I'm not sure about all you other Hot Toys fans, but me you now personally speaking, when I open this figure, there's a completely different smell. I know that sounds weird, but there's a completely different smell out this figure than all the other Hot Toys figures I've ever had so it smells like it's made from like some sort of different material but I'm probably wrong but it's lovely I'm completely in awe looking at this already it just looks amazing look at that that's Christian Bale 100% oh my god I'm looking at this through the lens when I want to be looking at it with my own eye it's just the detail on this head sculpt is absolutely amazing and the camera will just not pick it up holy mother of god I've got the Anta Bay Batman that's up there and the Christian Bale head sculpt with that is a younger Christian Bale from Batman Begins even though it's a Dark Knight Batman from Batman Begins and he looks younger and all but this is this is just 100% Christian Bale in my eyes it's just amazing. Every time, oh, I can't wait to get this out. I'm just gonna roll on with this. Okay, so he's out of the box, and my first impression of this figure is, he's absolutely amazing. The detail on this figure that Hot Toys have put into him, it's just second to none. It makes your DX12 look like a toy. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. But look at this head sculpt. That's just a hundred percent Christian Bale in the curl. The eyes, especially those teeth. Look at them teeth. In hand, they are just amazing. The detail down the suit here. Look, you can see the Kevlar and everything. It's just, it's just excellent. And I love the belt. It's not like Anta Bay's. It, 
fits perfectly around Batman and clicks really easy at the back so none of that bullshit of trying to I don't know tie an elastic band or whatever around your belt to try to hold it in the right place the knees on camera yeah they look very I don't know lopsided but they're actually all right when you mess around with the figure and you can twist it when you get them into a position it'll be grand just before I show you his accessories I do have gripes with this figure two gripes one is the stand it's really really a nice stand it's nicely detailed everything I love all this the structure of the building and how they painted the rocks and everything hot toys but the Batman just does not stand on it right and I'm not comfortable putting them there and then the fucking crotch grabber like when that's in there look at this when that's in there it's still protruding out too much look at that that's going to damage the rubber on Batman's belt on his legs so I'm going to have to fucking find a way of keeping that in I remember Roscoe saying he had trouble with this and he ended up leaving it out and the Batman stood grand so maybe that's what I'll have to do but maybe I'll get like a real strong tape and tape that shut and then put the black spongy material I have over like I usually do. And then my second gripe is the cape. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Like, as usual, those clips stick it down into the shoulders are a complete and utter nightmare. But once they're in, it lies flat enough like as you can see. But the cape just doesn't sit right in my opinion. It is made out of like a nice material. And I do like it. It is a bit of an improvement compared to some old Hot Toys capes. But I suppose this is a quarter scale figure. Like they've got room for improvement. But I just don't really like the cape. Like I ordered one from Tony Moy. And uh, he posted last Friday. So I don't think I'm going to get it this side of Christmas. Um, like tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I don't think the post will be open tomorrow I don't think they'll be delivering so it's gonna be after Christmas before I get that and like his capes are just amazing his cape will sit just like my DX12 cape sits now it just sits like a dream look at it the way it drapes down and everything it's just so movie accurate <coughs> whereas this one is just not movie accurate as I said like look at it at the back it's just it sort of sticks are real bulky and all it's just it's not the best. It doesn't complement this figure. But uh, when I get the Tony Moy cape, I'll do a little update video and show you that, guys. But like, I'm sure there's a good few of those videos out there as well. But anyway, I'll show you the accessories. I suppose start with these. This is extra pegs, and these are like proper plastic pegs. Like, look at them. They even have screws in them, so they're going to be really strong. It's a little tool. For moving his eyes, these aren't the pair system in there, that's individual eye movement like you see on the Hulk. So you just use these little sort of tweezer type uh, tool like to move the eyes individually. And you use the other end to pop out like the, the mouth pieces and replace them. But like you don't even need it because they're easy enough to pop out which is always good. Speaking of the mouth pieces, there they are. There's some spare ones right there. It's like... Flem in your face, flem in your face look, and then just this normal uh, neutral mode. Neutral mode, sorry. Then you get three sets of hands, including the ones that's on them. That gives you four actually. So you get four sets of hands. And, like they're pretty big. Like look at the size of that. It's really cool, and the detail on them is excellent. You get the neck piece there, that if you want to put it on the bale head sculpt, so you can pose them without the curl on, you've got the option of doing that. You get Bane's mask, which is just incredibly detailed. And if they, if Hot Toys ever release a quarter scale of Bane, I'm going to be on that like a fly to shy. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what I'll be. But that there is brilliant, I love it. You get Joker's mask. Which again is excellent as well. Really, really brilliant. The detail in this, and it's like a soft plastic. Has a little clip down the back to uh, hang from the the stand. So 
that's a nice option as well and that's probably the way I will pose it then you've got this scarecrow mask fucking hell if me phone rings again I'm gonna go mad people just give us a second now sorry about that so yeah anyway the scarecrow mask is like a plastic it's not material it's a tiny bit pliable really nicely detailed it's simple but I like it it look well at the feet on the stand and in the box you get all these other accessories like his UMP gun and his sticky bomb gun and his grappling gun and a little hole on his belt for his grappling gun and his backpack for that Tokyo scene. I love that. That looks cool on the figure but you sort of can't pull away from using the cape on Batman. <clears throat> then all the masks were in here. They're all out at the minute. And you get his batarangs, which is really cool because they're die cast and they're painted excellent. You get the little grapplings for his grappling gun and a sticky bomb itself. And then little packs for his belt. They look cool. And then the little uh, the tool, the drill he uses for getting the bullet hole out of the wall in the dark night so we can get fingerprints off the bullet. So yeah, <clears throat> that's everything you get in there actually pretty much everything you get with the figure bar I never showed just this sorry the sonar head which is just excellent as well it's really heavy feels like it's made out of a really good material uh, I wouldn't be too familiar with the materials but it's it's a heavy head feels like a like some sort of stone almost but um it's just incredible the detail in there and from what I've seen and reviews and all those LEDs and those eyes are really bright but I don't tend to pull tabs out on uh, figures unless I'm really going to use them and I'm not going to pose this head on the Batman I'm always going to pose it with that head so I will not pull the tabs out at the minute so I won't be able to show you that people and this is the special edition as you've seen on the sticker on the box so you get this curl that's where you get the special edition and that will just look excellent. That is probably a pose I'll do sometimes. You'll have like the Bruce Wayne head sculpt on holding the curl in his hand. So it's just nice to have that as an option. And then you get the Christian Bale head sculpt of, as I've already showed you. See so yeah, and then you just have the stand with the beam sticking up and all. And that's very hard to get in. I'd recommend heating it up before you do it. With a hair dryer so it'll just slot in easy. Like I have it in but I'm not sure it's in the whole way. But you wouldn't notice. I like how it stands all detail as I said and you get this little bit of a beam here you can hang your joker mask right there so I love that display option and just throw the masks there at his Batman's feet when he's on there so you can just imagine him on that anyway I'm going to wrap it all up for this with just a quick look because as I said there's a lot of reviews of this figure out there so for any Batman fan crazy mad into anything that's Batman related like myself you need to get the money together for this figure sell some old figures like I have some old hot toys and get this figure because it's just it's incredible and get yourself a custom cape from Tony Moy or whoever you can get it from because it'll just complement the figure to the highest level and stick around for that update video people and my other upcoming reviews on my amazing Spider-Man and my jor -El. I will get those reviews done now I just thought I'd quickly uh, show you there before I go him in the detail down now got him in one of these plastic display cases inside the detail so no dust is getting on this bad boy and I need to get some sort of box or something to get him to stand on to make up that room up there because it's just wasted room but anyway this is how I have him posed holding the Bane mask even though we never really bet Bane, Catwoman bet Bane <laughs> The Joker mask hanging there and the Scarecrow mask at his feet and all that. So I put a bit of tape there to close the, the, the crotch grabber in a little bit. I just need to get the black rubber material as I said and then that's all good to go. But it's not touching the, the rubber of the suit at the minute so it's good anyway. And the cape is sitting alright as well but I'll still be putting the Tony Moy cape on. So yeah I said this was a sort of a short look at it but it actually turned out to be a fucking nearly a 50 minute video so sorry about that if I bored you a little bit but Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas to the whole lot is. Hopefully next year is another great year with Hot Toys Collectibles and I'm always saying I'm going to quit this hobby but nah, I'm getting the Man of Steel Superman in the whole lot so it's just, 
I don't know. <laughs> anyway, happy Christmas.